Hey, what's up? I'm Beth and this is Star Makeup. Um, so I was thinking that I wanted to start a series on my channel based around my single shadow collection. Um, so I was thinking that every Saturday I could do some type of video that was related to my single shadows in some way or another. Um, whether it would be swatches or like build your own palette, um, doing a look with like maybe the previous week's build your own palette, you know, I mean, whatever, just all types of content around the singles. Um, so I figured since it's the beginning of the year, I would have the first one be on the first Saturday of the year. Um, so I figured this first one could be me just showing you all the single shadows that I currently have because I do have some that I'm still waiting for from Black Friday. Um, so I'm going to try like not to swatch a bunch of these so that it doesn't take forever but I just wanted you know to show you guys what I have that way you know if there was anything in particular that you would like to see you can let me know and I would do that video sooner you know, or ideas of what my, I'm going to call the series Singles Saturday. <laughs> so an idea for what I could do on a single Saturday. So, you know, if you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments and, you know, I will see what I can do. Um, so I'm going to start off, um, I just have a couple of ColourPop singles. Um, so I have these two press glitter singles so this one is light show and i hope you can see what that looks like it's kind of got like a green tint to it and then the other one is called tiny nugget and this one is like a purple blue which are two of my favorite colors they are my two favorite colors um so yeah i just picked those up just to i don't know mess around with them at some point <laughs> um and then the other shadows that i have are all just like pressed uh shimmers so this is nectar and then i have Earthshine and then we have Cloud and I suppose I should have described those other ones to you. Um, so Nectar is just like a nice um, pink shimmer with like a purple flip to it and then um, Earthshine is I don't really know how to explain this one let me just, I'll do a swatch of this one because I'm not sure how to explain what it looks like. So, I mean, it's, I'm not catching the shift on it. It's kind of like a purple with a blue, like a light blue flip to it. It's, it's really pretty. Um, and then I've got Cloud which is another pink. And then the last one is Heavenly, which is like this gorgeous kind of green shade. It is really pretty. Um, okay, so that's it for the ColourPop. Um, let's see, next, all the rest of these I actually have in palettes. <laughs> um, I'll show you the palette. So this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And in this one, I have all of my Makeup Geek shadows. So I've got a bunch of mattes. Um, a couple of them are more of like a satin formula. And then I have some of their foiled shades. Um, next, this is another Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and these are actually my most recent addition to my collection, and these are from Pretties for Your Face, 
and I really haven't messed around with these at all. Um, I definitely have to show you this one though. This shadow is unreal. Um, and they're, they're very fragile, so I don't want to pick any of them up to be able to tell you what the name is. Um, but man, this shadow is so gorgeous. It's like this amazing purple with like a yellow kind of flip to it. Oh God, it is just, it is so, so pretty. Next is Lethal Cosmetics. And I picked this up on their Black Friday sale and there's actually two face products in here. Um, but when I did the palette designer, I just decided to throw these in there um, instead of just filling it completely with shadows and then buying those two separately. Um, so as you can see, we've got a blush and a contour here and then all of these other gorgeous shades. Um, and it's funny because the day I didn't open them the day that they got here, the day after they got here, and I opened them up and took pictures, swatched them, put them in the palette the way I wanted them. Lethal actually announced that they were having a sale, like, after Christmas, um, where if you did a build your own palette, you got, like, 30% off or something, and I really, really liked the way these shadows looked when I swatched them out. I hadn't even put them on my eyes yet, and I was like, 30% mm, off, huh? <laughs> so I went back to the website and put in another order. <laughs> So this is the other palette full of Lethal Shades and I have not touched any of these yet other than to swatch them um, for Instagram. So this is definitely one that I want to work with like in January sometime for a single Saturday. Okay, and then I've got another Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And this one has another one of the newest additions to my collection. This has Terra Moon shadows in it that I ordered on Black Friday. And I've already put another order in for these since. <laughs> Cause they were doing the end of the year sale. So I just, I had to. Um, and man, some of these are not some they they are all amazing but like some of them in particular are just insane i mean just absolutely insane i did not have any idea that they were gonna be this just mind-blowing i really really hope that i can catch how beautiful these are on camera because I mean they oh god they are just so so pretty so I did get mostly shimmers um but then I got this bottom row here are all mattes and in the order that I have on its way well it hasn't shipped out yet but will be on its way um I got quite a few more of the mattes because these mattes seem like they're going to be amazing based on the swatches. Huh, okay. I'm almost done actually, believe it or not. Okay, so this is one of the giant Give Me Glow palettes. <laughs> and in this one, I have my Pinky Rose singles. Um, a lot of these I thought were going to be like foiled metallic shades and they're not. They're mostly satins. There are a couple that are pretty foiled, but for the most part they're either mattes or satins and I think there's only like four or five true mattes in this. Um, 
but I have discovered that I don't mind working with shimmers because I have so many gorgeous topper shades that I can just transform the satins into really gorgeous sparkly shimmers, so it's totally fine. Um, and then my next one is another giant Gimme Glow palette. I actually have one, two, I have five of these <laughs> because I knew I wanted to grow a pretty decent singles collection so and I wanted to be able to house my favorite brands in one palette instead of like multiple palettes. So this one holds all of my Davina shadows um, and these are spec spectacular. I mean, Davina's formula is so, so good. Um, actually, I do... Oh no, there they are. Whew, I thought I was thought I was missing a couple of shades. This is one of my all-time favorites. I mean, it is just... I should have picked that up with my other hand, but... Oh man, it's so, I really hope I can catch it on camera. It's blue with this gorgeous like pink shift to it. Oh, it is so <laughs> stunning. Um, and I also have this little one that technically is supposed to be a highlighter, but you could use it as an eyeshadow. So I keep it in like, um, an empty palette that I have face products in. So this is the shade Smarties from Davina and it comes in a 36 millimeter pan instead of a 26 millimeter pan because like I said it's marketed as a highlighter and it is just the prettiest like icy mint shimmer. It is so so pretty. And I did end up doing the pre-order on their new collection because my wish list got screwed up when it launched and I wasn't able to get anything that day. So, well, I did that day at that time. I went back a couple of hours later when she said that she was gonna open up the pre-order. So yeah, I will have the new Davina collection in a couple of weeks because I think they're supposed to ship out like January 12th or something. So then another one of my Gimme Glows and this one actually houses Gimme Glows. <laughs> so I have quite the collection of Gimme Glow and Davina trying to make sure that you can like see all of the shadows but it's hard for me to see what you guys are seeing. So um, I just got done filming a video using the Vivid Rose palette and I said that there's a shade in here that reminds me a lot of a single that I have. Um, <clears throat> so this one right here is Pink Rosé and it looks like this and I thought that it seemed very similar to, get it out here, Pink Lemonade. So I wanted to do a comparison interesting. I did not think that they were the same shade, but now that I have swatched them, I think they are. I really did not think that this would be a repeat shade and just put in a palette and given a new name. But I think that's what happened. Oh! Mm. 
it is real close. So this one is pink rosé and this one is pink lemonade. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but in, in person, the pink rosé shade from the Vivid Rose is just a little bit more pink and the pink lemonade is just a little bit more orange leaning. So they do look really, really similar, but I don't think they are. I think there's just a slight little variation there. So that is it. That is my whole uh, single collection as of right now. Um, I actually have a Luxy Beauty order on its way to me and I have an order from Impulse Cosmetics which I had never heard of before but stumbled across them and the shades looked gorgeous and you could buy them in like quads of sample sizes so they were really cheap and I decided to just go ahead and give them a shot. Um, so yeah, like I said, if you have any ideas for types of videos you would like to see me do with my singles, or if there's a particular brand that you would like to see me use, or color scheme, um, let me know in the comments. I would be more than happy to, um, do videos on whatever. I don't, as long as it's makeup, I don't care. <laughs> Um, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. If you do, ring the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I post a new video. You can hop over to Instagram and follow me over there for a bunch of content. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.